at least body type wise, he's the next potential to go. Yeah, I think he, he's done a good job, and you know, I'm telling you, Brady Reef has really impressed me. Really? With, I mean, really impressed me. This is leverage and understanding, and, and I'm not going to say he's uh, uh, like some of our other guys that played here, but he has some qualities that we really like, and his toughness and the way he takes guys off and takes blocks on. Where, really where's his weakness? Nah, I think it's right around 250, but 250. you know, you, you look at what Carl Kluge came in here right, as. Right, right, right. Uh, you look at some of the other guys come in here. You know, Mitch King was, you know, he's but, young too. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's very young. He hasn't gone through, and he had that surgery early in his career, so he didn't have opportunity to get in the weight room. So you know, you could see him maybe at 260, 265, but he can run too. So and he's strong and powerful. You know, so that, that's we're excited about that. So you see him as a, is you see him like maybe a part of the rotation then next. Year. I mean, you know, the oh, way no he's question. playing. There's no, there's no question. If, if not, you know, he, he has a chance to be a very good player. We're excited about him. You know, his brother, you know, is bigger than he was, obviously taller, weighs more, but had that nasty toughness that served him well throughout his career. Does he kind of have that same tangible? I think it comes from that whole family. I think he has that, that type of mentality of, you know, just the hard work and tough, those guys. I mean, he has the same, you know, toughness, I think, as is, is Riley. Mm. You have a lot of bodies. Let me talk about what has what Garrett done for you guys the last few games? Did he steady things a little bit? Well, I think what the greatest thing that Anthony has done for us is he came to work every day. He's taking a lot of two reps, but he was always giving great effort and never bitched about anything. He just kept on working and working and working. And the opportunity came up where he had to go in the game, and it was, I think, the second or third play of, of the Michigan game, I think it is. And he's really done a good job of being in the right spot at the right time and understands what he's been. He's been there a while. He's a senior, the leadership that he had, and I had full confidence that he can go in there and do it. Well, Snyder seems like a, almost a completely different player. From the beginning to the end, yeah. And obviously, you know, to come out to be a starter and, you know, uh, to do that, you know, over time, the game slows down for you a little bit. And I think that's what's happened to him a little bit. Obviously, he's in the film room. The more he sees on, on the field live, it's good for him. So, you know, he's really jumped, and I, I would I would agree with that. And he's, he's done a good job, a good leader. What about last, oh, go ahead. the last couple of bowl games, first halves have been almost out of control on the defensive side of the ball. What can you do differently in this game? Well, I think, I think the preparation all starts out with preparation. I think our guys have done a good job of you know, coming to practice, coming to work, and, and, and we've got to go in there and make sure that they stay focused and, and, and don't let anything kind of distract them from their focus that they need to have on the field. What about some, some of your younger, you know, true freshman guys like Barrington Wade and you know Christian Welch, and he's played some special teams. Where, where do they fit in right now, and how are they competing? Well, right now, I think you know we, we saw them develop a little bit over the last couple weeks with them guys doing it. And I think they're going to be good football players. They're just young. Uh, obviously, they're going to help us on special teams uh, in the future here. But obviously, we see them guys being more involved in the depth chart. Where do you see Wade? Where does he fit in? Right now. I think he, he's an outside linebacker, kind of like a Leo backer. Okay. Uh, you know, like Ben Neiman. He could possibly play inside a little bit. I even talked a little bit about, you know, can he play a, a safety or not? I, you know, we talked a little bit about that, but I think we're going to keep him down right now as, as a linebacker. The last, last couple of years, slippage on the fields have been, has been an issue, at least. It seems like even players have talked about it. Have you taken any steps to address like yeah, we, footwear? Or yeah, what? yeah. That, we, we try to get our seven stud shoes and, and yeah. make sure that everybody brought them. And you know that yeah. is a concern when they tear up the field. And, but that's not usually what the you know why you lost the game. It's it's, no, it's kind of a, an addition. Maybe it just looks a little bit bad when you're out there. But I think what happens is our kids. You know they had to break them in. They had to use them. And uh, I think they've done a good job. And obviously we're going to have I think some rain on on yeah, Monday. So. Right. Uh, Everybody should have them on. Okay. What kind of intangibles is it going to take to replace somebody like Desmond? We see the, we know how good he is as a player, but just every the, the total package for next year. Well, you know that that's interesting. As you see the guys grow, you know Desmond's been here a long time and he's got all things, and, and hopefully that these guys can see what he did as a player and how he came to work every day, never missed a practice, and you know I don't even know if he missed many reps at all. So to me, it just shows them, hey, this is the way you should do it if you want to be good or if you want to be great. And I think, 
you know, hopefully he leaves some of that stuff behind that guys can learn from. 